Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing amazing today. I'm extremely excited for today's video because you guys have been sharing your assumptions about me on my Instagram. Thank you so much if you did drop some assumptions in there. And it's gonna get interesting because you guys <laughs> took it really seriously when I asked you to make it juicy. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Samina and I am a violinist and I guess YouTuber now. Last week we hit 100,000 subscribers and that is a big milestone. Um, I am thinking of ways to celebrate that, but yeah, I want to make it right. I will also be announcing the giveaway winner from last week's video, the Peter Infeld strings for violin, for a full-size violin, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Also, today I am drinking some green tea out of my Moomin mug, so I'm kind of color coordinated with my grandma's blouse that she gave me, so kind of excited about that. All right, without further ado, let's get into the assumptions. Let's start with some easy ones, just because I have a feeling it's gonna get more intense later on. So the first one is, you own your violin and bow, or are they on loan? My violin and my bow, they are both on loan, and I feel extremely lucky to be given the violins that I have. I do pay insurance, but yeah, the violin that I'm currently playing on is a beautiful Stradivarius. Um, it's an Omobono Stradivarius, so it's the son of Antonio, with the tag of Antonio's workshop inside, and it's really like an extension of my voice. So yeah, I feel extremely lucky, and the bow as well. It's a modern bow, which is really, really awesome, loaned to me uh, by a private person. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. You're a musician, you can't really afford great instruments yourself because it's, a, it's not really in your budget. <laughs> so on to the next assumption. Uh, if I have pitch perfect uh, hearing, I don't, I really don't. I have relative pitch, um, so I know the G, D, A, E, the open strings of the violin. Now you know why I'm not a singer. But yeah, I cannot just pinpoint this is a C or this is a E flat, you know. Funny story, I had one friend back in her childhood, she told me that when a bike is squeaking, she knows exactly what it is. So that's, that's pitch perfect. I do not have that. <laughs> On the topic of singing, someone says, you love singing, but have avoided posting anything singing related to avoid unwarranted <laughs> comments. <laughs> so my mom is a singer. Um, I definitely am not. A good voice is not necessarily something that runs in the family, but um, yeah, <laughs> no. Oh, I like this one. This assumption says you started playing when you were little with very good teachers and the best methods. So I actually started playing the violin when I was five years old. Uh, for someone who was born into a musical family, parents who do music, they know that five years old is on the later side, uh, you know, serious musicians, they started when they were three or four years old. Some, some people start playing the violin before they can even walk properly. <laughs> so yeah, I actually started not traditionally early. I mean, five years old is still pretty young in my opinion, but it is true that I have had very, very good teachers, especially my very first teacher um, who made sure that all of my basics was super set in place. Um, her name is Simone Skraken, and I refer to her as my violin mom. She laid the groundwork for me. So uh, yeah, I would not be the musician I am today without her. Simone Skraken. Yeah, I'm actually going to visit her in two weeks or so. So yeah. Okay, the next assumption is quite interesting. It says, you don't care too much about professional success. Your goal in life is to be happy. So, you know, I consider professional success to be a part of happiness. A certain drive is a part of me that I would not want to give away. So in that sense, um, no, I don't agree. However, it doesn't consume me, if that makes sense. <laughs> Someone asks if I am an only child. No, I'm not. My sister, Sayaka, she is five years older than me and she plays the cello professionally as well. So literally both my parents as well as my sister and me, uh, we're all professional classical musicians. So yeah, I have a sister. Okay, so there is one particular assumption and also question that I have been getting, not only for this video, but for the past few months that I feel like I can no longer avoid. And it is the question if Ray and I have broken up. Um, yes, we have. And that was back in late 2019. So it's been a while. The thing is, I've been hearing 
weird rumors or like people speculating please don't do that there really is no drama or tea it's just life <laughs> literally <laughs> you seem like you take care of your violence better than you would a child <laughs> okay honestly i don't know i don't have one but i can tell you that a violin is probably a, a little bit easier to handle than a child i mean they don't run away when you take your eyes off of them when you're grocery shopping or the violin doesn't start screaming when it's hungry or you know um so yeah probably that's probably true but who knows we, we will only know when i when i have a child now the next assumption is actually sort of interesting people think that i didn't get to choose my own instrument that is actually not true my whole family does music. My mom is a singer, my dad is a piano teacher, my sister is a cellist. I mean, sure, they didn't really want me to do another one of those instruments or singing. However, the way I chose the violin is when my mom and I uh, walked past a music shop and I pointed at that little violin in the shop window. Um, yeah, shop window? Yeah. And I just said, I want that toy <laughs> because I thought it's like, I don't know, something you can play with and I was not so wrong about that. So um, yeah, I then started playing the violin. I actually did do piano back in the day as well, but pretty soon stopped doing that and just fully went for the violin. So yeah, I kind of chose my own instrument, I suppose. <laughs> huh, okay. You were thinking about dyeing your hair. You know, back in the day, I actually did dye my hair quite a lot. Um, I'm not proud of those things, so I deleted all photos that I have of me with black hair, with red hair, with highlights. Oh gosh, those are really dark times. Um, but yeah, actually at the beginning of the pandemic, I seriously considered of um, bleaching my hair and dyeing it purple and I'm still not opposed to that idea however um, the day I went to the hair salon uh, they told me that I would have to come back in uh, in several sessions because bleaching your hair is apparently really damaging and the hair salon was gonna close the next day because of the pandemic so I decided to just do a Japanese permanent hair straightening okay <laughs> Okay, so I've been getting a few of these. Either I'm super introverted or I'm super extroverted. Um, you know, I think I am extroverted. I've gotten the feedback that I'm good at small talk. However, I really do appreciate my alone time and I actually prefer talking to a small group of people or one-on-one -on -one rather than a huge crowd. An extroverted introvert. I think that's how they call it. Or an introverted extrovert. I'm... I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> you're secretly not a fan of practice accounts and you think it's cheesy or devalues the art to post it on social media. I don't think it devalues the art of music at all. I mean, I do that too sometimes. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of practice accounts because I feel like my life already has so much violin and music in it that when I go on social media, I don't necessarily want to see a ton of music again. Um, that's also why I don't really listen to classical music in my free time, because I already have it in my life so much that it's a little too much if I listen to it more. Um, but yeah, practice accounts, I think it's interesting to see what other people are doing. But then again, you know, I, I've, I've heard people admit to me that they record like five videos in a day and just change outfits and then they act like it was five different days of practice and I don't know, I just don't trust it so much, to be completely honest. I'm not a huge fan, you're right. Hmm, okay, I feel like th this next assumption is, is pretty strong. So, you aspire to be a full-time soloist rather than play in the symphony or, you know, that I want to become a soloist. No, not necessarily. Let me explain. All my life I thought if I was gonna be a violinist, um, I want to become a soloist because that's what everybody wants, that's what I should want. And you know, at, at, at a certain point I thought, okay, you know what, maybe that's not gonna be the only thing that I want to do, um, but maybe I want to do a mix of solo, chamber, orchestra, like ensemble, uh, teaching, like everything a little bit. And I still believe that a healthy mix of everything is probably the most balanced way for me because if you want to be a soloist, 
you have to absolutely love living out of your suitcase and you know um, share your music on stage three times a week or four times a week and I think you have to have endless energy for that. I mean before I said that I'm an extroverted introvert or introverted extrovert, there's barely any time to be an introvert if you are a soloist. All I know is that I want to do music and I want to have music in my life and I want to teach and I want to um, share my music. It doesn't have to be in a soloist lifestyle. And yeah, we'll see where life takes me. So, <laughs> okay, one girl says, this is not an assumption. I was wondering where is your necklace from? I love it so much. So let me know you guys, if you want me to put in the description what I'm wearing. This one is from a Singaporean brand um, called By Invite Only. Not only is it really, really well made, it doesn't tarnish, it's hypoallergenic and it's not too expensive. So. I really love this brand, um, not sponsored. I just never take this necklace off. Also, this second earring I have from them as well. I'll put by invite only in the description down below so you can check out their website. <laughs> so let's end on a light note. Your favorite ice cream flavors are chocolate and matcha. Wrong, okay. <laughs> My favorite ice cream flavor is pistachio. Um, or pistachio in English. Uh, a really roasty, nutty pistachio, or um, in Switzerland, they have really good yogurt ice cream. It's not the same as in America. In, in America, it tastes more like milk and sugar, but it's tangy in Switzerland. So either that or the Move & Pick maple walnut. Highly recommend to check that out. But yeah, if I am in a Japanese restaurant and I want some dessert, I'll probably get some matcha, matcha ice cream. I'll only like it if it's like super strong matcha flavor because they're stinging with the matcha in the, in the ice cream sometimes. So I think that was a pretty good closing note for today's video. We are at the point of the video where we all wanted to really know who is the giveaway winner for last week's giveaway. Thank you everyone for participating. Now the winner of the Peter Infeld violin string set is Celestine. Thank you so much. I used a random YouTube comment picker and I actually checked out your YouTube and you seem to be a YouTuber yourself. So be sure to check her out. Um, I really enjoyed her videos and subscribed. So if you're into travel and health, be sure to check Celestine out. I couldn't find a way to message you privately, so I did comment on your latest YouTube video. So please be sure to check that out because there's no other way to privately message you. But for anyone out there who did not win this time, I'm really sorry, but this is not going to be the last giveaway I'm doing. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube and you'll never miss a giveaway. Thank you so much for watching today's video and cheers. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye still feels unreal that we are a hundred thousand on this channel so thank you again so so much i am still thinking of ways maybe like another giveaway but if you know how i should be celebrating this hundred thousand with you guys simply drop it in the comments down below that would be greatly appreciated and yeah if you want to subscribe the button is right next to me please stick around i'm going to be posting weekly and i can't wait to see you next time thank you for watching and have a good day.